So, look, I just saw myself on TV. What's going on y'all? It's your boy Wes from A Connection TV, the one channel on YouTube where we actually adopt similar connections to spot our differences. And the similar connections that I want to adopt with you is for the love of hip hop Hollywood, loving hip hop Hollywood. Now, some of y'all seem to believe or feel, not seem to believe, but feel that Atlanta is the best one. But for me, Hollywood is the best one. It's the freshest, with the freshest storylines. Okay, uh, because between New York and Atlanta, I feel like the storylines are really repetitive. But when you get to Hollywood, it's not all the way repetitive. Like, it really isn't. They give you something different. Everybody's beautiful on Hip Hop Hollywood, too. And um, I don't know, everybody's young on Hip Hop Hollywood. Like, the young heads. Like, I don't know. I, I like Hip Hop Hollywood. I know, I know of Ray J. Um, Nikki Baby is beautiful, gorgeous. I mean, like, I, Monice is, is relatable. Miles and Milan, relatable. Although, although, there's gonna be another, there's gonna be. <laughs> but I can't say, I can't say, I can't say. But I'm gonna tell y'all that Atlanta is gonna be hot. Atlanta is gonna be hot. Atlanta is gonna be hot, goddammit. So thank you. Um, Thank you. I'm, I can't say, I can't, I'm like, I don't want to fuck up shit, but <laughs> anyways, I am about to review this episode, but before I review this episode, I need you guys to do me a solid, please do me a favor and go to www.talkingdead.com and vote for me. The link is below. I have finally, after all these years of doing YouTube and interviewing the people that seem to make it to TV, um... I'll finally have the ability or the uh, the possibility to be on TV and um, to be on a huge show, The Talking Dead, and I need you guys' help to do so. If you can click on the link below, take a second, click on the link below, and then uh, go to search for Ultimate Fan, find my video, click green arrow up on me, and red arrow down on everybody else if you want. I'm not telling you to do that, but... You know, help me secure a win. God damn it. I want to be on that show. It is one of my dreams to be on that show. And it is a gateway to possibly being on more television shows. Um, so please help me out. If you could do me that solid. If you've been rocking with me for the years. Even if you've already voted. If you voted last week. Every day counts. Every day counts. You can vote once per platform. So please do that. I'd appreciate it. Okay. Now, we start this particular episode off with Monice and Rich. They're having a conversation about all of the things that Rich has given up, all of the things that Rich has done. And right out of her mouth, Monice says, we need to be shopping for that ring. And I'm thinking to myself, girl, how long have y'all been together? Like, is it really time for y'all to Peter and Cynthia it up? Because we see what's going on with them. So, and that's not funny, but Cynthia is so fucking cold now. But it's like, why are we shopping for rings? Why? Why are we shopping for rings? Because the love feels like it's love. But I don't, I don't really think that we've gone through enough experiences. Not that I really know their relationship, but I don't think that they've gone through enough experiences or enough time to really say that marriage should be what's next. How about, well, they already do live together. I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't. I don't know. It's just me. But you know, me. Monice is like, you know, I'm ready for it, and I wanted to get you this kind of ring. And Rich is like, why don't you go ahead and get it? And Monice is like, no, you're the man. You're supposed to be in charge. And I'm like, okay. Monice does mention that she made a mistake confessing her. I don't know if it was situational emotions towards Fizz because they were in the video together. I don't know what that was, but she admits that that was the wrong thing to say and she was confused. And um, she admits that she loves Rich and that she wants to be with Rich. 
Miles is able to come out to his boys because the streets are talking. He speaks to PT, Shahad, and RK, and DK. And they're like, oh, we don't care. Like, we're cool. We just won't be going out on no double dates. And like, is this real? Like, you know, like it's real, like low key. And honestly, I think that's a real reaction. Usually, like if y'all have been friends for a long time, like actual real friends, you already kind of have some idea, okay? So this wasn't like complete, complete and utter like brand spanking news. Like there has to have been some, whether or not some guy shot him down the street, whether or not it was rumors in high school, whatever it was, there's been some thought, possibility. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like when you... And PT said, well, we did think you were a Metro. When you look at the three and you look at maps, when you look at the three and you look at maps, the Metro does come into play. But I don't know. I think it's way beyond the Metro. I'm just, that might, just from my eyes looking. <laughs> I'm just saying it's way beyond the Metro. But I loved this scene and I respect Shahad, uh, DK, and PT for coming on screen to be regular straight dudes and to talk about it. You know what I'm saying? With their boy and, you know, air that crazy crap out. It's hot. It's and then they dap at the end. I thought I thought it was cool. I really did. I thought it was really, really cool. Ray J decides to buy a house. Mmm, a beautiful house. Yeah. For him and Princess. Yeah, because that's his princess. She rides up and there's a bow and the gate opens up. I'm like, this house is way too close to that house. And that house on the left doesn't really look as hot as the one that Ray J just bought. But whatever. So, Princess is like, what's this? And Ray J is like, well, you know, baby, I just want to I just wanna be with you, baby. I want us to be in the house together. So, I decided to buy this house, baby. For you and me, baby. For you and me. This is us. We are one. I'm like, one wish. And that's all I was thinking about. I'm like, okay. But, you know, through all, all of that, the whole, you know, spiel, Prince is like, yeah, I don't really know. I don't really know. Because <laughs> you done did me dirty too many times. I went to jail for your ass. I don't really know. I love you, but Princess is smart. She is. Princess tells Ray J that she will say yes, but the house needs to be in her name. I'm thinking to myself, okay, that's smart. Yeah, you smart, but you need to find out how many acres y'all sitting on. You need to find out what the property insurance is going to be. You need to find out what the property taxes is going to be because if your regular job is not caking in, because listen, I've, I've been in some houses, okay? <laughs> and that house looks like it will cost a pretty penny. Now, granted, you don't have to pay property taxes monthly, but you have to pay homeowners insurance monthly. And I don't know about uh, the uh, uh, Hollywood, the state of California, but baby, it's not cheap, okay? And if you're not pulling in guap along with the other bills, I don't know if you got car insurance, I don't know if you got a car note, I don't know what you have. But if your panty line is not pulling whatever kind of line, which kind of line she got, whatever line she got, is not pulling in the funds, I don't think you want that house in your name, though. I mean, it's an investment, but, but then again, I guess you could, whatever, you can do whatever you want to do with it, but make sure you have the money. I thought that was smart, though. I thought it was smart. I, she got brains. Rich is at Fashion Week uh, with his, one of his homies, and this is actually where one of the Love & Hip Hop fashion shows looked like an, a real fashion show. And there were beautiful designs walking and gracing the stage, and everybody was dressed in white, and everybody looked gorgeous, including my baby, Nikki Baby. Even Rich looked dapper. And Nikki Baby... Baby, this is, like I said, this had nothing to do with you. Nothing to do with you at all. At all. Nothing to do with you at all. Now, it would be different if Rich is like your best friend or something than I could understand. But Nikki, baby, Nikki stuck her nose in something that it did not need to be smelling. And she should have just left well enough alone. I should have just left well enough no. But she didn't. She didn't. She had to cause some kind of controversy. And so she did it. 
And I'm not respecting that. I'm not. Because there was no reason for her to tell Rich. Because, I, but then again, I, all, okay, here's the re reason number one is if you are best friends with Rich. Reason number two is if your relationship with Fitz is in trouble because of what's going on with Monice. Then get Monice in her place. But option one and option two wasn't even there, Baboo. So I don't even know why you did that. Like, I have no, I, like, I wish, I, you, Nikki, baby, I wish you'd call me up while I'm recording this and be like, Wes, well, let me explain. And let me explain something to you because when I found out that, you know, you know, let me, I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm not rocking with the decision that Nikki Baby made. I really don't, it doesn't make any sense. It was none of her business. But then Rich gets upset and he's like, okay, well, I appreciate it. Okay. Well, yeah, it's a done deal. I'm like, damn, all oh, Rich, all. Oh. April is supporting her man while he's performing. I loved his album. Great album. And I'm glad he's performing on sold out sold out shows. So I'm appreciating that. I'm happy for him. But while she's supporting her man, all she can think about is herself. Seems kind of selfish to me. I mean, I get it. You want to feel the love and you want the limelight too. But you're on Love and Hip Hop Hollywood. The best way for you to do that is to allow us to even hear your voice. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want her to be feeling like she needs to be out there selling our shows if she can't sing. Like, what are we doing? Having a family barbecue slash cookout, um, and his mom and his sisters are there, and it was pretty, pretty interesting, because it seemed like one of the sisters couldn't be on the cameras no more. She had to walk away. I wonder what was that one about? What was that one about? Um, but, um, you know, someone told Miles' mom about his lifestyle, and he was upset because he wanted to be the one to break the news to his mother. And this scene was really, really real. And it's like, I really wish I really knew Miles. And I really wish I, like, I really wish I knew these people. So I could know if this shit was really, really real, you know? But I got that vibe. I really did. I, 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 I got that vibe. Um, and that's all I needed to really get, I guess. Because everybody else that's sitting at home with their mom trying to figure out if they should come out or not. You know, they're watching that scene and, you know, I think a lot of conversations were had because of that conversation just now, tonight. So, shout out and, and kudos, kudos to Miles, kudos um, to Mona for allowing us to see this on TV, kudos to the sister and mom for doing that, kudos to them. Okay, and kudos to the two people that were in the back just drinking because they wanted to be on camera. Kudos to everybody involved. Much respect. I, I love the mother's response to him. And when Miles started to break down, you can tell that it's, it's been a hard ordeal. It's been a hard situation. You can get that, right? So when Miles says that Milan is on his way, I'm like, eh, okay. Too soon. I'm like, too soon, right? Too soon. But, hey, it is what it is. Milan comes in. Miles and Milan look fucking beautiful together. They're both beautiful men, right? And they walk, you know, Milan walks in and he's, yeah, you know, feeling a little on edge. He shakes everybody's hand and he sits down and we start to get to grilling. And the mom comes right out with guns a blaze. Like, she like that, that, that final boss in Kill Bill. She like, what is your aspirations in life? And Milan gave the Beyonce answer, my aspirations in life is to be happy. Right? Um, and the mom was like, what are, what are your aspirations in life besides stripping? Oh, 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 damn. If you Google Milan Christopher, some racy motherfucking pictures that come up. Some racy pictures that come up. And, um, I don't I, You know, mom seen your big old butt and your chocolate ass and your, your I don't know if he got penis shots out. I don't know what he has out there. But when you Google Milan, Miles, you don't find any of that stuff. Damn. Shit. <laughs> Lord knows I tried. But uh, maybe I'm just not looking in the right spot. I don't know. 
But, um, you know, and then the sister chimed in. The sister, wait, well, first of all, the mother was like, well, has Miles met your family yet? And Milan's like, no. And the mom's like, well, why? Why? What happened? Miles like, well, they are in Chicago. <laughs> I'm like, okay, Milan. Okay, Milan. He's like, well, they are in Chicago. I mean, like, uh, <laughs> we're kind of filming here. <laughs> I read it, Milan. I read it. I read the shade. I read the shade. I read, <laughs> I read the shade. Milan had this look on his face like, these women are trying to come for me. And I'm the reason why they're on this TV. Like, I, that's what I felt. That's what I felt all from Milan. His face. <laughs> but, he going through the motions. He letting it work out. Now, the sister. The sister went on some extra shit. The sister. The sister went in. Went in. She like, I'm just trying to tell you this is the fuck kind of family we fucking are. And I want you to motherfucking know that if you dealing with this motherfucker right here, you got to be dealing with motherfucking me, motherfucker. Because this is how we fucking roll. I said, okay. Okay, you about to rob. She about to, she clear about to rob that bank and set it off. Okay, she done got shot 15 times and still standing. What? Trying to run with the money. What? And you know, Milana's like, oh, okay, all right, okay, can we group hug? But here's what I'm going to tell you. It is a double standard for females. Females can show their titties and ass all day long, but a man can't because it's not manly. So I get where Milana was coming from with the double standard. I get it. But it's not going to register into, in, into regular people's minds about that concept because when you deal with man and woman and how life is supposed to be and what women's can do and what men's can do you know that's not necessarily what a man can do and in their eyes and you know the traditional american family blah 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 kind of mindset it just doesn't work that way for a man to have his booty cakes all out on an inflatable uh water device i said that that's the picture that's the picture um we just need mouths to come out with a picture <laughs> but um, it was an interesting scene to say the less. They all get up and they give each other a hug. And I think the sis, honestly, I think the sis already knows some shit. And she like, I'm gonna tell you one motherfucking thing. Don't fuck with my brother. That's what I think, you know. But we don't know. We don't know the backstory. So, I thought that scene was hot though. But once again, and I'm gonna say this every time and even when the reunion comes, I respect Miles. I wholeheartedly Respect Miles, 110,000%. Congrats, you're doing your thing. And the one love hats, I love them. One love, congrats. So we move on, okay, to Rich visiting Moniz while she's singing her song. Now, she's singing a song and the song sounds pretty good. The song sounds decent. I'm appreciating the song, but I can't connect. Well, she shouldn't be able to connect with the song because of what she said to Fizz, right? Apparently, right? So we're past that, right? We're past that. And so she comes out and she sits next to Rich. And Rich has this, 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 this look on his face like, I cannot believe what I just found out. I have a ring in my hand. You're singing this song with these lyrics. But yet and still, I hear this from Nikki, baby. But I'm supposed to be in love with you. But I flew down here, moved down here, uprooted my whole life. I've changed my wholeish ways for you and you're just a reminder as to the reason why I was doing what I was doing to all those females in the beginning because females can be tried for two. I was, I was here with Rich. I was understanding Rich and I felt for Rich. I felt his pain because in this season we did not see him play Moniece not once. Even before the season start we saw the pictures and everything. They're in love. They met each other and all this shit. You can tell that Rich was hurt in this motherfucking this scene. Not unless this fabricated, I don't know what's real and what's not. But this scene right here, this shit was crazy. So, Rich is going on. You know, I did all this for you and I moved here and I did this and you wanted this and I had to bend over backwards and I spoke to your baby daddy and I spoke to your baby mom, your mom and I did this and I did the Monique's like, yeah, 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 you did, yeah, yeah. So why I gotta fucking hear about this from Nikki come tell me and blah, blah. what? I didn't say that. I'm like, Monique, yeah, you did, boo. You did. Pull that back. Pull that face back. Pull it back. Lift it back up. Lift, lift it up. 
You said it though. You said it. You said it though. You gotta you gotta own it. Own it. Own it. In that moment, she was caught off guard because she never thought that it would get back to rich. And she never thought that it would get back to rich from Nikki Baby of all people. Right? But here's here's my thing. When Rich started to tear up, I was like, oh, bruh. Like, he fucking bitches left and right now. Not unless he go back to Moniz, I don't know. But this right here was the reason why Rich was what, who he was. Like, I can, I can vibe with it. I can get that. I can ask Dog with Rich right now. I was all on Team Rich this particular moment. And then, you know, Moniz makes that comment like, you know, Nikki Baby just wrote a death wish. Now... We get to Omarion and Omarion surprises April. Okay, we passed that. I want to get to the end of this. Because I'm going to tell you like this. Brandy is certified crazy. Mm-hmm. Certified crazy. I, I fear for Monice's life when Brandy is around. Because she's certifiable, certifiably crazy. Okay? Now, needless to say, Monice is no punk. Monice is no punk. Okay? So, it's weird. Because out of all three ladies, I respect them all. The only one that did not have to be in the picture was Shonda. Because I'm like, why is she here? Why is she, why, why is she even breathing on the left side of Monice's face? Why is she all up in this sink? There's no pole around. That's what I'm, that's what I'm thinking, right? I'm like, it has nothing to do with you. Back up. So I'm like, okay. Whatever. Shonda is respecting the situation. Nikki is speaking to Monice. Monice is speaking to Nikki. And I know Monice wanted to snatch her like she did uh, Amber. But I think Monice already knew that there was two other bitches here. So Monice couldn't do nothing to uh, Nikki Baby. I'm thinking that that's how Monice is thinking right now. Because Shonda was all up on her left titty. All up on here, all up on the side, cupping her left titty. And I'm like, yo, uh, what's, this dude, what's the dude? Day 26, come get your chick. Come get your chick and create y'all scene out there when she was crying about being on the pole. Come get her. Because this ain't got nothing to do with her. She all up in the camera shot. That's what I'm thinking. But I'm like, okay. Monice ain't dumb. Monice ain't dumb. I know Monice. Monice read it. Monice read it. She ain't dumb. Okay? But... Things got a little heated and intense because Nikki was starting to get low with the mouth. And she was like, well, what you need to do? And I was like, okay, oh, Lord, here we go. Nikki, don't, don't, don't get yanked. Nikki, don't get yanked. <laughs> I'm like, no, no, because my niece will do it, boo-boo. My niece will do it to you, boo-boo. Don't, don't do it, don't. Because I don't know what Nikki baby is capable of. I don't know. I know Nikki can throw a drink. And she can look good in a fight. I know she can. Or in a scuffle. Because she'll put her hair back and she'll go like this. But I know Monice, you know, and she ain't scared. Because she approached her. She approached her. She said, but listen, we're going to cut through all the formalities. I'm here for one reason. I want to know why the fuck my name came out your motherfucking mouth. I was like, oh, okay. See, this is why I like Monice. This is why I like her. This is why I like her. And I like, I like Monice, I like Nikki Baby, and I like Brandy. Okay? I like all three of them. All three. Y'all but y'all know I love you some Nikki Baby. But Nikki Baby was in the wrong. Nikki Baby, you was in the wrong. Okay? So they're going back and forth, they're going back and forth. Monice start going like this. And so, you know, Nikki was like, all right, get your hand out my face. Get your hand out my face. And then Nikki Monice reaches. And then Nikki kind of like blocks or something, some whole, whole, whole happened, right? And then Brandy like, oh, what? What's going on? Bitch, come here, bitch. It's saying yank uh, Monisa. <laughs> Brandy is a mess. She said, you think you're going to touch Nikki, baby? Bitch, you ain't going to touch none of my friends up in this here, bitch. You ain't going to do nothing, bitch. Bring her here. I'll... <laughs> I love Brandy. I love Brandy. But Brandy, warn her from the front. Don't warn her from the back. That's a bitch move. I'm sorry. I love Brandy. But don't snatch a girl from the back when she's attacking one person. 
Because at the end of the, okay, let, I'm gonna strip it all the way down. I'm gonna strip it all the way down. I'm gonna strip it all the way down. Number one, Nikki shouldn't have said a motherfucking thing. No, wait, wait, wait. I'm gonna clean it up. 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 I'm gonna, no, no, no. No, no. How should I do this? What's number one? Number one, mm, yeah, number, mm, yes, number one, Nikki shouldn't have said a motherfucking thing. She shouldn't have. For the two reasons that I said, I don't think Rich is her best friend, and I don't think there was any trouble or, or in paradise between her and Fizz. Number two, Fizz shouldn't have said anything to Nikki, because there was no reason for her to, there was no reason for him to, because... Moniece and Fizz aren't sneaking behind Nikki's back. So, like, you would only tell your girl about what this girl said if you feel that there will be problems later. And yeah, you're shocked and you want to get some off your chest, but telling, telling Nikki when there's no... nothing possible between you and Moniece was dumb. It was dumb. So that's number two, right? That's number two. Number three? Number three, Moniece. You shouldn't have said anything. If you felt that your heart was feeling fizz in some way, shape, or form, the first person you should have went to was Rich. That's the first person you should have went to because you had this man out his whole motherfucking... You ain't have him do anything. You, he did what he wanted to do, but you were the reason why he did all this shit for you. So if you had any second thoughts about anything, the only person you should have told was Rich because that's the only person that matters. Now, that's my that's my order, okay? And in that order, okay? So, now that we're here, coming into this scene, I feel, I feel that Moniz approaching Nikki was accurate. Now, Moniz getting aggravated and upset. She shouldn't have did that. Moniz should have addressed Nikki first. And then should have went to Moniz. Let me explain why. Let me explain why. Y'all know I love Nikki. Y'all know I love Nikki down. Y'all know I love her down. But what's right is right and what's wrong is wrong. Moniz did right in approaching Nikki first. Because of the reasons that I told you. It has Nikki has nothing to do with any of this shit. Nothing to do with it. So she shouldn't have said a motherfucking thing. All she, all Moniz had to do was address Nikki and then move on to Fizz and fuck Fizz up. That's all she had to do. Fuck Fizz up. But at the same time, at the same time, the only person that she should be really mad at is herself. Moniz should be mad at herself. Because if you never would have said anything, none of this would have ever happened but I understand why she went to the club to wreck shop I get it but females are always mad at the female when they need to be mad at the dude express yourself to Nikki baby say you know what Nikki I have more respect for you and I don't even know why you did what you did because you and Rich aren't even cool like that at all and you and Fizz aren't even having problems at all so I don't even know why you're sticking your nose into a business that doesn't even concern you not onto you Fizz. That's exactly how it should have went. But it is what it is. Nikki, you was in the wrong. You shouldn't have said shit. Monish, you could have handled that. You could have been a boss biatch in that situation. You could have handled that all the way differently. Because number one, you was outnumbered. And I'm like, who are Monish's friends? Is Monish, Tierra is Monish's only friend on the show? Like, I'm trying to think who other, what other girlfriends does she have Nia Riley? But Nia Riley is not gonna fight babe, Nikki Babe. Like, who else? Monice is Dolo, solo for Dolo. Okay. I don't know where the hell Brandy came from. I know where she came from, but I'm like, girl, Brandy, that had nothing to do with you. Break up the fight. Break up the fight, but don't snatch a bitch up because she fighting your friend. Break it up. Don't snatch her up. Break it up. I don't know. What do y'all think? What do y'all think about this reunion? What are y'all final thoughts of all of the characters on this particular show? I'm curious to know. I'll read all the comments. I mean, I respond to them all, but I'll read all the freaking comments. And y'all have a lot to say. I'm going to ask y'all these questions. Do you think Rich really loves Moniece? 
Do you think that Monice was in the wrong for approaching Nikki Baby? Do you think that Brandy was wrong for getting in the fight? Do you think that Princess is dumb for going back to Ray J? Do you think that the Milan and Miles storyline is a farce? Leave your comments below the video and don't forget to go to talkingdead.com. The link is below. Click green arrow for me, red arrow for anybody else. If you feel like it, I'm not telling you to do that, but help your boy secure a win to be on TV. All right. Love y'all. Thank y'all so much for supporting me through the years. Deuces. Before we started, just introducing extra things. Okay. So this is completely like... Your your site like it's this not is ran my, through a third party. No, this um, is your site launched by you. It's launched by me, created by me, and you have actual design. <laughs>